Hi, I'm Bernard Sheridan. I'd like to welcome you back to Par Breakers Golf Academy. And today we're going to take a look at the swing of Bubba Watson. And some of the things that Bubba does create a tremendous amount of club head speed and torque using ground force and a lot of width in his swing. But the problem with that is accuracy. So if you really need a lot more distance... Then, and you're supple enough and young enough um, to be able to take advantage of the things that Bubba does and what we're going to look at today, then um, it, what you have to remember is that you're going to be sacrificing some accuracy in where the ball goes, okay? Um, so most of us feel like it's better to be accurate than it is to be long, but if all you're hitting is a sand wedge into the green, <laughs> then maybe um, being accurate has not, you know, is not everything that it's cracked up to be. So, at least in Bubba's case, that's true. So, um, but a lot of this is going to, we're going to see how a lot of this resorts in timing too. And if timing is off a little bit, then ball's going to go all over the place, okay? So, the first thing that I want you to notice though um, if we look at the, the photo on the left, is Bubba's grip here and how strong his grip is. So that right hand is very much on top of the club and his left hand is very much underneath. But what I want you to also notice is that they're parallel to one another. So that's going to allow him to pretty much try to keep the club more in front of himself throughout the swing and the reason why he does that uh, keeps those hands parallel is just for that reason so his hands usually his hands and arms work very independently from his core um, on the downswing so but we'll see that as he makes his takeaway a lot of the things that we talk about that are good stuff in at par breakers okay happens here so in other words and let's do it on both sides here. As he goes away, the shaft is staying way out in front of him. And his hands are staying, that allows his hands to stay in front of him and not race behind him. If the club was coming more inside, he would have difficult staying out in front of himself here, okay? So as he goes up to the top, he has a huge rotation with his shoulder. But what I also want you to notice is, is that he also rotates tremendously with his hip. And his hands get very, 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 very high. Okay. Now, when this happens, notice too how steep we can see here at this angle, how steep that shaft gets on the way up. Okay. Now, when he, a lot of the times what happens here is with, with a swing like this for most players over swing, they're going to start the swing back down, and when they do that, they're going to start it in this direction, okay? But we're, we're going to notice with Bubba is when he starts it back down, he actually is going to go more in this direction, okay? And that club, is, his hands are going to drop, but how does he make that happen? Well, here's really how he makes it happen. He really, really has to clear his hips, his lower body first, before he lets everything start down, okay? So and we're going to see that as he starts, and notice his hands really aren't dropping yet. His hands are, are kind of staying steady. And as he starts down, he's, he's squaring his hips up. As his hands start to drop. Now, here's the thing, too. As his hands start to drop, notice they drop straight down, okay? And he hasn't had any kind of unhinge, all right? If we look here, we can see those hands are dropping down, but he's maintaining that, that wrist hinge, that wrist lag, okay? He's getting that right knee out over top of that right foot to get it stacked, okay? So he can start that rotation, okay? So right here, what a powerful position. And, and look at the tremendous, tremendous lag that he's creating at the top, okay? So let's just take a look at that lag. 
So he has 52 degrees of lag going on here at the top of his backswing, okay, as he starts down. And, and now his hips are clear. All right, so here's where he is here. They're about the same now. They're matched. All right. And as he comes into impact, okay, or as he starts back down now, his hands drop in front of him. He's still creating that lag. So let, let's see how much lag he's creating by the time he gets to that position. All right, so let's get, so we had 52 there. Let's clear that. And we're going to look at, Sixty-one. Okay, so he's lost nine degrees of lag from from here to here, which is not a lot at all. Okay, again, hips are really now we can really see over here on the right how wide open his hips are. His shoulders haven't even squared yet. There, his shoulders are square. So. By the time, so, and look at how wide his hips are open to the target, okay? Now, as he comes into impact, there's impact, all right, right there. Huge, huge open hips to the target, head back. If we go over here and take a look, I just want to move this whole works this way a little bit so we have a better, better view of this, okay? We can also see, too, that he's starting to come up off the ground when he gets to that impact. Both heels up on his toes, okay, still creating uh, that shaft is actually a downward blow. And if I draw a line straight up that shaft, we can see that that shaft is pointing past his, past his shoulder, Okay, but it's actually, believe it or not, intersecting with that belt loop that's on the front side, okay, or right of his belt buckle, all right? Hips have turned so much that he can get that forward shaft lean, and now after he comes through, everything finally catches up, okay? So really that from here to here is where all that club head speed and he's really like cracking the whip here as he comes through up using the ground force to actually get that right shoulder up and out of the way so everything can come into line and clear and through to a finish here we're going to see it here shaft comes out on plane Big, big high finish. Incredibly high finish. Tremendous amount of power. Somewhere around, uh, I want to say, 124, 125 mile an hour club head speed. That's why he's the longest on tour. So, but remember, this is timing, and those hips, everything has to clear before those hands can drop. This is not easy to do, folks, and that's why we don't really recommend it. But, if you want to get more distance, you can give it a try. So, for Par Breakers Golf Academy in Limerick, PA, congratulations to Bubba on his latest win, and we'll see you next time.